Hello everyone, in this video we are going to replicate this map of Germany and we will put on this map the German stadium that hosted the World Cup matches and the Italian path to the World Cup. Let me enlarge. We will define this, this path. So these are the images of the German stadium that hosted the World Cup. This is the path of the uh, of Italy to the World Cup, and then we'll add this information about the match, the date, and the in the stadium where Italy played. So let's see how to do this in uh, in R. First of all, we need these three packages here. Let's load them. Now uh, we need the geo coordinates, latitude, and longitude of the German uh, stadium. I already collected here and. I wrote this in the description, so you don't need to manually copy this, just copy and paste from the description. Anyway, let me show you how I did this. Basically, I did manually. So on the Google map here, I searched, for example, for Berlin Stadium. Here, and from here, right click, and these are the latitude and longitude. Uh, on the other end, we also need here the the images and for the images I just took like this save images as but uh, the images if you want to replicate exactly uh, you have to save by yourself so let's go back to our studio here so let's run all this and now I'm I'm going to store the latitude in the object uh, lat and the longitude in the object object LNG let's run this and by the way instead of copying this one i would suggest to copy this like this select all and here in selection replace underscore underscore lng with underscore lng here, replace all. And you have just to change this. In this way, it's a little bit faster. Okay, let me close here. Let me run this one. Okay, now let's make the a data frame with the, this latitude and longitude. So this one is our data frame. And now let's add the the name of the of the city and he these are the name where this stadium are located and now i want to add also the name of the stadium yes and let's reorder this column i want the first column to be the city then the stadium and then latitude and longitude so i'm reordering like this so let's run this one so we have city stadium latitude and longitude so let's do the first map. We use leaflet, add the tiles, and then add the circle markers. And these are uh, the longitude in the German underscore stadium mapped to LNG, and the latitude in the Ger underscore stadium mapped to LAT. Let's run. And this is our first map of Germany. So let's check if our coordinates are exact. Let's start by is the Bayern Munich uh, Stadium, the Allianz Arena. Let's check it. And indeed, we are correct. So let's try another one, the Borussia Dortmund Stadium. Okay. So this one we are correct. So now what we want to do is we want to place the images of the stadium instead of this circle marker here. So uh, let me show. This is the folder, and basically we built this folder 
in the video about setting up a, a, a project in our studio. And this in this folder we store all the all the images of the German stadium here. So now with this we are just creating here uh, an object icon set. And in icon list, we are making this icon with the make icon function. This is basically the path to the uh, to the image. So this is the folder, and this is the name of the image, and this is the size that we want. Uh, we want the image uh, to be plotted with these sides. So, uh, let's run this one. And now let's uh, let's make the second map. In this case, we are adding the icon equal icon set based the uh, images uh, at this coordinate, at this longitude latitude. And we are just adding here a new provider uh, for the tile here, so Stammel. Let's run this one. We have this, no, no, this kind of map. We have here the stadium. This, for example, this is the Allianz Arena. So now, what we want to do is we want to add the path of Italy to the World Cup. We have to define the latitude and longitude of the stadium where Italy played. So I collected all the all the latitude and longitude of, of uh, stadium where it played in this object, it underscore path. It's a data frame. So uh, let me show you one thing. Italy played first match uh, in Hanover, then in Cassius Latin, Hamburg, Cassius Latin again, Hamburg again, Dortmund and Berlin. Now I'm adding here this plus 0 0.1 to the longitude of Kaiserslautern and Hamburg because because Italy played Kaiserslautern uh, Hamburg, Kaiserslautern and Hamburg, this will cause the, the line that will draw to overlap. Because I don't want the line to overlap, I just add a plus 0 0.1 to make two distinct uh, lines. This will be now uh, clear in a moment. So let's run this one. So this is the same uh, code as, as before. I'm just I just add here add polylines. So in this case now longitude in this case is from the it underscore path and latitude here is uh, from it underscore path. Okay. So let's run this one. And now we have our path and here as you can see. Now let me enlarge. Italy here plays, uh, played in Hamburg and in Kaiserslautern. And as you can see now, I made this two line just by adding this 0 0.1. Otherwise, this two line uh, overlap. Okay, so uh, like this, the path is not clear because it's not clear where is the starting point and the ending point. So what I'm doing is that I want to add uh, that information as a pop-up. First of all, I need to uh, write the information and the information will contain the, the match here, the result, the date, and the name of the stadium. So the first match was against Ghana. Let's run this one. And then let's run also the other one. Now we have all this information, and by the way, this one is the separator. It just means to start a new line. So we will have a new line after this, a new line after this, and a new line after this. And this B here, on the other hand, this one, I'm just telling that I want this, I want this to be bold. Okay, so now let's store all this in one object. This one eta underscore matches. So we have all the info in just this in, the, in this object. And now what I want to do basically is build another data frame with the, the latitude and longitude where to place this information. And here I'm making I'm doing a trick as before. Basically, I'm adding a plus 0 0.5 here 
And on the other hand here, I'm uh, subtracting 0 0.7 and I am adding plus one. Uh, you will see why in a moment. So let's run this one. And let's run this code here. What I did uh, new is add this add box. So as you can see here, longitude and latitude, they are from this object here, the underscore match stadium. These are the information that we want to be uh, on the map. And basically here, we want that the information to be permanent, not, uh, uh, not an interactive information, basically will be on the map. So let's run this one. And as you can see now, we have here yeah, Italy Ghana Q0. This is uh, uh, 12 June. This is the starting point. And as you can see, this is permanent. And from here, we go here to the Italy versus United States 1 1 on 17 June, played at Fritz Walter Stadium. And from here, we go here Czech Republic Italy 0 2, uh, 22nd June played at uh, Fourth Park Stadium. And from here, we go back here. Now, as you can see, in this case, I'm adding this plus 0 0.5 because I want this pop-up to be uh, located up uh, above this one. Otherwise, they, uh, they would overlap. And here, because from, from the match against Australia, we go back here to Hamburg. And in this case, what I'm doing, I'm moving this one to the right and this one to the left. And this is what this means here. Okay. In this case, they did not overlap. From here, we go to, to Dortmund, where Italy played uh, against Germany. So 0 2 after extra time. And from here to Berlin for the final, where Italy won the World Cup against France after penalties. So this is uh, this is the path, but now let's make uh, a few adjustments to, the, to this map. What I want to do basically is that I want to define the borders of Germany. So to do that, we need to import the data about uh, all Germany. First of all, let's use this get data. Uh, if you watch uh, the other videos uh, where we plotted the floor pet map, map with the ggplot. You're already, you're already familiar with this code here. Basically, we're recovering the ISO3 code that identifies countries. So let's run this code. So let's check Germany. Okay, Germany is here. And you see that the code is this one, DEU that stand for uh, Deutschland, the, the name of Germany in, uh, in German. So now that we know the code, we can run this function here. We are getting the data from this database, country equal DEU, Germany, basically level equal zero, because we want uh, the border of the country uh, only. And this one, I explained this code basically in the other two videos. So. I already this one, let me show here. The, it's, it's this one. Basically, if you run this one for the first time, you will download the data. You will see a bar that, uh, that will tell you that you are downloading the data. It really will take a few seconds. I run this code. So uh, now what I'm doing here, I want to add the 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 border of Germany and I needed this one basically so add the polygons data equal our data frame in this case is the EU and I'm just filling the color with the uh, with the green I want to show you let's go back here and let's run this one so as you can see now we define the border of Germany and we just put a little green here to make a better distinguish, uh, distinction with the other countries here. And this is the map that I show you at the beginning. So we can enlarge. We can move this is uh, 
uh, interactive as you can see now i want to show you another another trick here because we really don't need in this case all the borders here and the name of the of the cities yeah we don't need this so to remove everything and just to keep germany also because don't want also the bordering country the bordering countries so what we can do basically is remove add tiles also remove this one so let's do this the code is the same we just removed those two let's run now this is just the territory of all germany as you can see let, let me zoom in But we don't have all. Uh, we don't have all the names here. We just have the stadium, uh, the path here, and the and the info. So with this one, we conclude this video. I hope it is uh, useful, and if you enjoy, see you in the next video.